Hey you guys, so these little bad boys turned up today and we have a exquisite mini Predator 2 Shaman and a exquisite mini Predator 2 Scout. Now I did get these guys from Legendary AliExpress. Um, let me just check in the listings on here what they are described as. There we go. Yeah, that's what they described as exquisite mini Predator 2 Scouts. Now I will be honest, when I picked these guys up, I didn't realise that uh, they were this small. <laughs> I thought they were like the necker size. So, hmm. I've <clears throat> investigated these. I don't think they're knockoffs. I think they are the genuine thing from the genuine place. But yeah, because they look so cool. Well, you can see they are a smaller scale figure. Um, there's a nice artwork on the back. Hayo Toys Limited. Uh -huh. And there's a nice picture of him on the bottom. There's it on the bottom there. That on the side there. And that side there. And on the top. This one is a Scout, which has that artwork there. Mm -mm. It's the same thing on both sides. There we go. Scout. So yeah, so come on guys, if you've got a real one of these, just looking at the boxes, would you say this is real or fake? I think they're real. They definitely look real to me. So let me get the little knifey thing so I can get into the boxes. Put him over there, we shall go with this one first. And there we go. These were like 20 quid including postage, which it, at the time I thought they were taller figures and <laughs> yeah. I maybe wouldn't have paid quite so much for them if I'd have known they were this small. But I am kind of impressed. It does come with, I, I ordered this one because it comes with the, let's see the whoop, alien skull, which the jaw doesn't work, but never mind. But yeah. Quite a nice paint job on that. Yeah. Have a little base, which has all the right it's reserved in etc on the bottom. Um, those H things which I'm not sure what they're for. A speary thing, selection of hands and the retracted lance. I should take him out of there. I'll look at him first. So, focus, there we go. Oh, I think that's quite a good paint job on there. If you have a real one of these and you can tell the difference. I think these are real. They're very sturdy. Um, let's have a look at posability. So, uh, right, that um, goes that way, I guess. And then turn that. They're very stiff joints. And I've learnt <clears throat> recently, if you watched the Alien review that I did the other week, that these things do break. So I've learnt to be very careful with them. Right, that shoulder will not go up because of the the armour on there. There we go. They have, yeah. Right, head articulation wise, nothing left and right. Turns that way, turns that way. No tilt back, really no tilt forward. The arms, that one is obviously stopped by the armour. This one will come out a little bit. I don't want to force it too much, but then that armour stops it there. Um, the joints, as you can see in the elbow, like so. The wrist has swivelled. The glove there also has swivelled. But, yeah, nice wrist. That has got a reasonable nice amount of tilt to it. I like these dreadlocks, they are rubber and they sit quite well. Um, <clears throat> it has some crunch in the top, backwards and forwards. Also, does it have waist swivel? Um, can't see for the... No, it doesn't. Not that I can see anyway. So that's the only swivel in the top. The legs are um, like a ball joint in there. Yeah. And also have a swivel there as well. Cool. Knees 
uh, double jointed, not painted greatly in these gaps there, but yeah, well, uh, ankles, yeah, no, no pivot, but they do have a bit of swivel in there. I don't want to force it too much because it's been really cold today and yeah, but yeah, I kind of like that. I know it's only little. Um, let's see what the spear's like. The spear's nice because it's got the, um, it's got the spear on the end. Like the, like his claws would be if he had his claws out. Yeah, it's not a bad paint job on that. Quite nice. So I guess I'm going to be having him holding that like so, and let's see if we can get the, the pin into the foot. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll try the other foot. I won't force it too much, but there we go. We've got it reasonably in. I'll just position him interestingly. I'll mess around with that at a later date, but yeah, that's not too bad. I see, I'm not sure what those two little... Oh, maybe they're in for that and you can lock them together. Because look, there is a little, little gap in there. So yeah, maybe for that. That is quite a nice... I'm going to leave that in there for now because that's going to be a vacuum cleaner um, incident, isn't it? And the two little hands, which are the more open hands. Right, let's put that somewhere safe while we open the other a predator up. Right, you go over there mate. Right, so this one I picked because he has um, the mask. I like that. I'm looking at the other one thinking that's, that is cool. Whoop, out we come. Oh, there is. Ah, there's an instruction booklet on the back of it. Do you have the other one? Oh, yeah, there is. Wow. So, those are the other ones in the selection. Shaman Predator, which is this one. Scout Predator, which is that one. And Lost Predator, which is the one I didn't get. And the Stalker Predator. And there's some other ones. City Hunter, Guardian Predator, Shadow Predator, Boar Predator, Warrior Predator, and Elder Predator. Hmm. These ones weren't available on the AliExpress I got from it. It was just those four. So, hmm. I wonder if that becomes anything. Right, what's he got in here? So we've got him, the lance, throwing disc, and and whatever creature that head belongs to. I'm sure <clears throat> if you know your predator history, somebody will tell me exactly what this skull belongs to. But it's a nice skull. No articulation or anything in it, but still a nice paint job. Yeah. So the predator himself oops, lift him out of that. Um, yeah, again, the big shoulder pad. Well, it was the 90s. Was it the 90s? Yeah, it was the 90s. So, articulation wise, that arm will go up a little bit more. That's the same swivel. It's pretty much the same thing, really. So, there, the wrist around the blades. Oh, they do come out. Oh, and they're, they're connected to each other. Oh, that's a nice look. So, yeah, I didn't think that would. Operate like that. Wow. The mask is moulded on and glued on there, so it's not removable, which I didn't think it would be. That's why I bought one without and one with the masks. Um, yep, yeah, same. It's basically, I think, the same body. It's just that the. Yeah, it is. It's just that the heads and shoulder pads and things are different. Which is a clever way of doing it, really. Because that's the same shoulder pad on there. Slightly different shoulder pad on there, is that? So I guess they may be removable. Yeah, so. Hmm, that's an ingenious little bit of design. Yeah, so there is a certain amount of posability in there. I will mess about with this in the warmer, you know, warm it up and stuff and see just how posable it is. But I can like these, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I do think I overpaid a little bit, but oh well. It's worth it for you guys to see them, isn't it? Yeah, I like them. I think they're cool. So he's going to stand on there. Let's see if we can get any of his... 
No. Tell you what, just give us a sec. There we go, made it a bit bigger with the knife. There we go. I am actually quite a big fan of Predator 2. I do I I like the fact that they didn't just redo the first film which they kind of done they kind of did with Predator I don't want to say Predator Predator I, I get them wrong Predator 3. I know it was Predator 3, but they all call it Predator Predators Predator Predator. It's very confusing. Yeah, that is quite I I like them. I like them. Again, You've got the cutting disc in there, focus, which is probably more ammunition for the vacuum cleaner and another pair of hands. So yeah. So all in all, like, yep, they are small, but as I would put it, perfectly formed. I mean, that is a very nice paint job on there for something quite so tiny. Um, where's my ruler gone? There it is. These guys come in at um, four and a bit inches. Same with that one, four and a bit. So they're reasonably the same height. Um, yeah, if you put them next to the neck of Predator, then um, uh, yeah, it is a bit bigger. But then I don't know. I like the I like the idea of the smaller scale. I like the fact that you can you could make a nice diorama to go around them, like a big a bigger diorama, and place them in the middle of it. Yeah. So yeah, I am reasonably impressed with those. Like I say, I got them from AliExpress, but I do think these may actually be um, may actually be real, which is strange. But yeah, I, I always feel bad because everything I get from AliExpress, I always presume is going to be KO or knockoff or whatever. But these seem like the real deal. And very nice at that. I mean, it's an amazing paint job on them for something in this scale. And it is an interesting scale. So yeah. There we go. I said the dreadlocks are very nicely Designed and painted on there. The armour at the back is pretty cool. Now that does have a space to plug the disc in, so I will probably do that with the disc. Because, yeah. Hmm. But I like it. I, I, yeah, I'd definitely give them a thumbs up. Oh, he's got one thing on his. Which is your favourite Predator? Which is the which is your favourite film out of the the series? Because I, I I love the first one, and I do have a very soft spot. I, I really do enjoy that the second one, and the third one isn't so bad. But and that last one, I can watch it, but it's not the film that I think we deserved. I don't think it's the film they were making. Um, that's his, isn't it? Um, I'd like to see the other cut of it. But anyway, that's me prattling on for too long. So I will say adieu, have a great day, a great night, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.